Connor, just can you give me your sense of kind of where, where the group is at? Once again, my teammates come up short. And welcome to the honest press conferences where we're going to take on the roles of the athletes and say what they really wanted to say. Athletes, executives, there's there. I mean, hell, we had Stephen Walcom uh, admit that the rest have no idea what they're doing. So check out some of our past ones before we move too far. Oh, yeah. I, I will. And yeah, poor, poor Connor. You could just tell in, in the look on his face. And Phil nails that line so perfectly. That's why it is our opener all the time. And to one of the pressers that we've been waiting for this entire season, my guy is Gary Bettman. All right. Look, I know a lot of people have opinions about my job and what I've been doing, but I'll tell you one thing. I know I, I get booed whenever I go into a Tim Hortons, never mind an NHL arena. And I'm doing the best job out of every single uh, commissioner that's out there. Who do you think's doing better than me? Adam Silver? He's letting the players run the league. Or what about uh, Roger Goodell? He's got a press conference every other week to explain what idiots he's doing. And don't get me started on let's completely change the game, Rob Manfred. So... At least with me, our game's expanding. It's moving to Seattle this offseason. Uh, we have shown the success we've had since we put Vegas in the league four years ago. And it's it, it, this game is growing. We don't have many headlines. Um, a couple of them, I really wish I don't have to talk about at all. But, you know, we're, I'm about to hand out the Stanley Cup to a Florida team again and possibly in Florida for the second time. Mm, maybe that'll give the Panthers uh, a little bit more of a market since they're coming back and they're looking good as well. But everybody always wants to rag on me and be like, oh, this is, Gary Bettman is terrible. I mean, they made that movie uh, Good Cop, Bon Cop about me, where uh, they had a character who was named uh, Buttman, and he uh, was about like like three feet tall, walking around, taking away the Canadians game. But you know what? I've expanded it and I've made everyone in this league, including the players, super rich. So how am I doing bad? I mean, I know I'm about to hear it because I got some tough critics and some comments waiting for me. But you know what? I, I will always answer questions even if I don't answer them with a satisfactory answer. I just don't know. So um, let's go ahead, guys. What questions you got for me? Well, Gary, uh, you got to go with the elephant in the room. What's uh, the latest on the Chicago situation, and how do you uh, plan on handling that? I would really rather have uh, a root canal on every one of my teeth without Novocaine then answer a question about the Colorado the uh, sorry the Chicago situation that is um that's a nightmare to say the least um me and Bill Daly we were trying to figure out a way to say no comment but we can't say no comment enough so we're a little bit nervous about that um I think if you ask me to do this uh I'll give you a straight answer on this it's uh it's, in a, it's, it's a situation that I can't help but roll my eyes and go, God, they couldn't have just done the right thing to begin with, and then I don't have to answer this question. But uh, I was I was really hoping this would not be the case. But, uh, oh, wait, uh, there's, wait, there's a different question. I can misdirect, because that's what I do best. Um, not to mention, not to get political, but was the rumor true you were in the talks with Chaz or the Chop Autonomous Zone for the new franchise for Seattle? Actually, they <laughs> called me. They called me about that, and I asked them how much they were going to pay for the franchise. They said nothing, and I said, you have to go higher than that. So, um, yeah, the, the, the that other situation, that's good. Oh, what are we talking about? The weather? The weather? The weather's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mr. Larago's got a question that I hope has nothing that rhymes with Ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, Gary. Um, so obviously there was the Golden Knights that came to the league, and now Seattle's going to start playing uh, come October for next season. Um, the fan base in Quebec has been clamoring to get their team back. 
Um, I know they've been, they were really pissed when Vegas got a team over them and then furious when Seattle got a team over them. So um, why haven't you given them a team back yet? And uh, do you see the NHL going back to Quebec at some point? Can we talk about Chicago again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would have to say that uh, one reason why is because there were markets that we wanted to expand. We didn't want to throw another Eastern Conference team in there. And uh, uh, granted, that rivalry with Montreal would be good. It was good back in 1993. Uh, it wasn't so good in 1995 when they traded their franchise winning goaltender to that um, relocated Quebec franchise. Uh, but it really helped us out because we just got the, Chicago, the Colorado market going. Uh, but we really had to identify Seattle as a market. So that way there's a natural rivalry with Net rivalry. See, I could say rivalry with Vancouver. And um, that way it really expands the game out right over there. And um, I think that's, I think that it'll work out. I mean, we will return to Quebec when we can, uh, possibly for our 34th team. Um, I don't know who team 33 is, but I'm sure I'm going to pass on another uh, chance to go back to Quebec. Maybe a second Toronto team. We've been talking about that for a while. Um, and, uh, you know, and, but there, don't worry. There's always teams that sometimes, uh, though there has been a team that relocated in a while in any sport. Um, oh no, not this question. <laughs> uh, but, but hopefully, you know, we can get there with Quebec in, in years. So why wasn't Tom Wilson suspended for what he did to Panarin? Can I talk about Chicago again? Um, the it's uh, I talked to George Paros, and um, you know, as he is the uh, Department of Player Safety, and he said, "What's Safety?" And I go, "No, no, you're still pronouncing it wrong. It's Player Safety." Um, but George had felt that that, that was. Uh, yeah, that is a question for him. But of course, whenever nobody does their job in this league, I'm the one that's got to answer the question. So um, I really felt like that could have been a suspendable offense. But we also thought, you know, the Capitals are in the playoffs. They're a big franchise. Alexander Ovechkin's a pending free agent. We wanted to give them a chance to go out on and uh, sail off into the sunset together. The Bruins had other ideas about that, but that's a different story. Uh, when Seattle told you their team name was going to be the Kraken, did you immediately regret dealing with this ownership? <laughs> um, I thought it was going to do something with Plains, as Boeing is there. The, the junior team over there is called the Aces. I actually like the name the Kraken a little bit, uh, but a, and a matter of fact, they sold me with their marketing, so that was that was kind of good. Um, I'm glad I don't have to talk about Chicago right now. And it's that the, uh, the the Kraken are going to be an impact uh, franchise in this league, possibly as quickly as Las Vegas was. So that is my bold statement. And uh, although truth be told, uh, I, I, I'm making a lot of eye contact with the camera, which you know I don't usually do that. Um, uh, the uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what the, what they're going to be and ron francis is going to build a good team very quickly for them gary what about possible uh possibly going back to hartford no, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, snap. uh no, we don't need to revisit the highlight of their organization which was chris osgood scoring a goal in the mall <laughs> we, we, we need we need bigger franchises. That's what this league needs. And uh, if, if it's not worth a billion or potentially a billion, then uh, I say thanks a million. That doesn't really rhyme. I need to come up with something better. Uh, uh, I was on vacation last week. and just had... Oh, no. Still don't want to do that one. Will you be comfortable with the Kraken fans being named Crackheads <laughs> in the arena they call the Crack House? <laughs> um, we thought about that, and uh, we figured it fits Seattle well. So, um, 
Uh, <laughs> all right, and oh, uh, why did you let Leech go? He was too close to his old regime, especially Qu the Quinn. I think that was supposed to be a question for uh, Mr. Oh, Trump. for Chris Jury, yeah, yeah. Um, um all in good. Step back in and answer that one because Gary doesn't want to talk about Chicago or anything related to Hartford. Um, yeah, uh, we let Leach go because Leach was a part of a previous regime and he was connected to those guys. So um, he just had to uh, set to go. We had to go with somebody different. So brought in Mike Greer, spice things up add a little diversity to the uh, organization and a newer uh, a newer and uh, fresher face if you will well and I can say for myself uh, that this league has got uh, at least two billion dollar franchises and it's only going to get better and we're only going to grow so when I hand out the Stanley Cup on Wednesday night go ahead and boo me Florida I'm the reason why you got two Stanley Cups, or three, I should say. It's two right now, as it'll be three on on Wednesday. Any other Thank questions? You, you suck. <laughs> I keep on sucking. Finally, we're back to Anthony saying that uh, <laughs> a guest sucks. Anthony has said everyone that I played sucks except for Cole Caulfield, which was last week. All right, that was our press conferences. That's where we say what all the athletes and executives really want to say. The, the Phil, by the way, Hartford, best one. <laughs> the comment uh, Ziga made before, just wanted to say, we do these things because we wanted to, uh, we want to kind of like give a different spin on it and have fun with these things. Because, you know, like you said, a lot of these pressers are so boring. It's... It's, it, you can just tell it's it's like filibuster material. It's very um uh type, you know, just pre recited garbage that's given to them by PR reps and stuff stuff beforehand. So we want, we want to have fun with it. We want to give uh you know kind of a different spin on things. Think of another. Is there another podcast out there that does things like this? I don't think so. I don't think no. there's anything out there that does something like this. So you know what? want to have fun with it and we're glad that you guys like them so we're going to keep churning them out well also uh i do have to say this one reason why hockey players are so team speak and so bland in manila is because they spend so much of their uh young lives representing an organization from almost day one like they're playing juniors they're already doing dress codes stuff like that yeah. um and that's one reason why it's drilled into them to be vanilla and the real inspiration for this and i i started texting the guys i'm like this is a great idea for this was when just what would just could you get into conor david's mind and when they're down 3-0 and it's just that poor guy you can't help but go i just don't believe it but uh, of course, what do you think about what Gary Bettman said uh, about the league, as long as you're not asking him about Chicago? Uh, also, uh, what about what Chris Drury's moves are going to be? And should Casey Zekas take the money and run? Put it all in the comments below. All right. Who wants to do... Oh, wait. We got one more comment. Let's say that... They say the word, obviously, to start every yeah. sentence. Whoever was so obvious, then why do you have pressers? Uh, if you haven't picked it up yet, yeah, just wait for the next player interview. And yes, it is always like an obvious thing. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.